to be in Vintuk. Uh, we've got a week with uh, the Namibian cricket side. I know they're obviously getting uh, their preparations underway for their World Cup campaign. Yeah, and what a great time for us to come and get out and get some uh, cobwebs uh, out of the system. Uh, it's been a long pre-season for us already. Happy to be here to play against Namibia, a very, very strong side which is going to the World Cup. And we've brought a good side as well and the boys are very, very keen as you can see, like they're busy training there. And uh, yes, we're looking forward to it. We've got 150 over game and uh, four T20 games. We're starting with a 50 over game tomorrow. Uh, I don't think we've had a 50 over game in uh, a couple of months, so I think there's going to be a few sore bodies come Sunday. Saying that, we are a professional outfit. We've got to do what we have to do and um, yeah, can't wait to get started. I think winning the toss was probably, I'd say, the icebreaker. I mean, I had to, I had to win the first fight, which was a toss. Um, and after winning the toss, I kind of eased my way uh, back into it. You know, I gave it a little fist pump. I haven't seen many captains do that when they win the toss. But yeah, that's how much it, it meant, you know, just to start off the tour on the right note. Having won the toss, Captain Sibonella Makanya chose to bat first. Tiernis De Brain top scored with 62 and was assisted in the middle by Neil Brunt, who scored a handy 30. Diane Khalim and Corbin Bosch both produced scores in the 30s to set Namibia a target of 225 for victory. Daisy and I just, we went in the middle, we just told each other, just steady the ship and then Daisy gave me some good advice and we decided, okay, cool, let's put the guys under a little bit of pressure. And then all of a sudden the run started flowing and then like we just went on momentum and all of a sudden we had a really defendable total of 225. The Titans bowlers kept it tight with wickets falling regularly. Michael van Lingen and JJ Smith were the only batsmen to offer any real resistance, cracking 51 and 68 respectively. Bosch and Ayabalela Kamane finished things up, with both men grabbing three sticks apiece. It was great, a little bit nerve-wracking, um, but yeah, it was awesome, man. I mean, there's so much experience to bounce ideas uh, from, from the teammates, so it's, they always make your job a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, there, there's, there is always that pressure uh, to produce when you put on that Titan shirt, and even more pressure when you have the, the responsibility of captaincy. Um, but I definitely enjoyed it. it. It was great fun, and I mean, we, we had a good time out there, and it was a great way to start off the tour. My guy like Sibonello Macanya, you know, like his first stint as captain for the Titans, you know, I really, really think he led well. I mean, like he was quite calm, you know, under pressure. And uh, yes, he really, really did well. I mean, also, you know, like there were guys around him as well who, who like, did help him. So, um, yes, quite happy. I think he's got a future, you know, in terms of leadership in, in our structures. Tough to judge you half the one game, but I mean, uh, the result went our way, which is quite nice. It was good to see a lot of the players put up a good fight. Conditions that we're obviously not very uh, familiar with, but I thought Sibs led, led, led the side well. A new format and a new captain. Proteus test skipper, Dean Alga. Having won the toss and elected to bowl first, the Titans managed to restrict the hosts to 140 all out, with Stefan Barr top scoring with 62 of 49 balls. Bosch was once again instrumental with ball in hand, claiming three wickets at an economy rate of just 3.42. New recruit Proteus spinner Aaron Pankiso also chipped in with three sticks. The Titans never really got going in reply, with only one boundary being hit by Ayak Damane. 
I know it is a bit tough, you know, uh, obviously conditions are a bit different, uh, but I don't think that we actually read conditions very well, you know, we, we are an experienced side, so we, should be, we shouldn't be losing like this, uh, hopefully the next game will do better. The second T20 saw the Titans come back harder and stronger. Having won the toss again, Alga decided to bat. Brunt and Debrain steadied the ship at the top, scoring 39 and 32 respectively. Kalim added 24 to lead the home side needing 153 for victory. It was a hard-fought battle with only four wickets falling. But it became a nail-biter going down to the very last ball. Looking at the, at the, at the score, I had to, I had to defend. Um, I had to be very clinical. Um, I had to just back my skill a little bit. Um, and we were working on a, on a, on a few variations at the, at the death. And uh, today I backed my wide walker, um, as, as, as did the rest of the team. And we tried to get that win at the end. The third T20 was a do-or-die affair for the men in blue who needed nothing but a win in order to try and level the series. Winning the toss for a third time in a row, Captain Alga had no hesitation in batting first, which paid off, with Brunt and Debrain setting the tone, scoring 44 and 65 respectively, as they helped set the Eagles a challenging 176 for victory. They are Tux boys, and you can, you can pick it up in the way that they play the game. Um, quite strong, quite confident. And I mean, when, when they play well, you always see that the team will always follow. Um, you know, and I think it's the guys with big presence at the crease. Um, and they, pretty much for me, they embody what the Titans are about. You know, when, when, when those guys are out there, the, the people on the side are calm. And I think, it's, I think they're a great combination. The Namibian inning struggled to get going with Okutle Kele instrumental in his first game on tour, grabbing three wickets at an average of just 4.75 in his allotted four overs. Pangiso also contributed with two sticks. In the end, the Sky Blues were victorious, restricting the hosts to 150. Obviously, the conditions benefit the type of bowler I am, so I look to obviously cash in and just to make sure that I have simple plans and stuff, so I'm happy about that and I'm happy to get three wickets to contribute to the team. It all came down to the fourth and final T20. The Titans needing a win to draw the series, while Namibia simply needed a victory to secure the series. Bart and Williams top scored at the top with 42 and 33. The Titans fought hard with Pangiso and Debrain both suffering injuries. Tele and Brandt each bagged two wickets with the hosts setting the Titans a rather challenging 175 for victory. Thanks, Billy's webbing, so I had to do a job for the team and luckily I bowled off in the warm-up, so I was ready to go. Yeah, so just obviously very happy to contribute and uh, get a couple of big wickets. The task was a tough one. The only real contributions coming from Kalim and Bosch, who produced scores in the 30s. Bobby played some good cricket today and for the for the series I think they they're a well organized team. Um, obviously we came here with the intention to win as well. We came short. Um, the nice thing is that I think the guys know where we went wrong and we are ready to fix it and we'll go back to the drawing board and, and try and you know really focus on some basics. You know, you know, like he's an old soldier, you know, he really, really like led this young side very well. You know, like he led from the front, I mean, you know, he led by example. And uh, but besides on the field, I mean, off the field, I mean, he has a massive, massive role to play. And, uh, you know, like you'll see him at the dinners, you know, the, you know, coming through and with those young players, you know, just talking cricket. And the guys are quite eager as well to learn. And uh, like the best guys that we have here, like we've got Dennis De Bruyne, we've got Dean Elgar, you know, a guy like Junior Dalla as well, even though, you know, like he, he like didn't play any game, but like their contributions as well off the field, I mean, like was quite massive. It's been a great week. It's been a challenging week. 
But there's no better place to get preparation than out in the middle against a quality Namibian team. And uh, we've had a, a good chance to bond as a unit, uh, to work on game plans and to challenge ourselves under pressure. It's good to come out and play cricket again. Um, I know some of the guys have been cooped up at home and they've just been doing the off-season, pre-season stuff, which, which gets a little bit, little bit frustrating and uh, monotonous after a while. But it's good to be out here playing uh, some really tough cricket. Fantastic, you know, like experience for the team. I mean, like we've brought a young side here as well. And then all our new players that we've signed as well. So, um, you know, great experience for them, like playing against the side like that's going to the World Cup. So, like, we've learned a lot, I mean, like, from this tour. Like, I'm sure, like, my young team as well, you know, like, has learned a lot. Uh, plenty of positives that we're going to take home. I mean, we are still in pre-season mode. And to come and play competitive cricket, I mean, you know, like, in, in, in Namibia, in a beautiful ground like this, I mean, you know, like, was something special. Happy, like, with what we've achieved. And um, our big positives, I mean, like, the NSD brain, I mean, has been superb, you know, like, the whole uh, type series. And the guys like Branty as well, I mean, have come through. And the bowling unit, I mean, in 40 degrees heat, I mean, have been really, really brilliant. Great mix, I think. A lot to work with, um, which is a positive for us. Um, being a new system now in South Africa domestically, we, you're bound to have, most teams are bound to have a new squad, which is, in my opinion, something great. You're starting basically on a blank piece of paper now. It's good to have weeks like this when you can go through the tough times and you can go through results that don't go your way. Yeah, it was a great opportunity, you know, for me and, uh, you know, like I've taken it with both hands, to be honest. And the staff, I mean, you know, like, you know, like they've been soldiers. Um, it's been tough, I mean, coming here, you know, like with about 14 players, you know, like it's not easy to manage sometimes. Yeah, but Kez is the manager of the side, you know, like does Neves as well as my assistant coach, Matt, you know, was quite brilliant. And the, and the guy like Dita as well, I mean, was, was quite good. So, like, overall, I think we did a good job. Um, you know, yes, we've got a few injuries, so like the physio, you know, as we get home, you know, like he's got some work to do.